Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be talking about ways that I got better at WKing in Arena. This video will help you get better mechanics and game sense to help you gain more Arena points faster, get higher elimination games, and become a better fighter in tournaments. First thing I'm going to help you guys with is your mechanics and fighting sense, and how you can improve that in creative. The biggest thing that helped me become a better fighter overall was by 1v1ing my duo before we played Arena or tournaments together, and doing lots of 1v1s from people in Discord. If you guys want to find a good Discord server to find a duo partner or player to 1v1, feel free to click the link in the description and it will take you to my Discord server where you can chat with me and type in the 1v1 section and you'll be able to find someone to play with. Doing this will help you understand how most players fight and you can figure out how to counter their strategies. I would recommend doing this until you can win most of your fights against the other person in creative because then you know that your skill level is better than most of the people you'll be versing in arena. Another thing you need to do to improve your fighting skills in Arena to become a better W keyer is by avoid reviewing your mistakes. If you keep dying in Arena, then clip your deaths and watch them back to see what mistake you did and take a mental note to make sure you fix that mistake in the future. For example, I stream on Twitch and if I make a mistake, I go back to my stream and see what I did wrong, whether it's a wrong peak or if I miss an edit. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitch, my username is just yt underscore tomplex. I stream with hand cam normally and I stream all tournaments and almost every day. Anyway, after I see what my mistake is, I would sometimes go into creative and practice what I did wrong by pretending I'm in the same situation as I was when I died, and I'd practice that certain peak which I stuffed up. I would also think of ways I could have counted my opponent's moves differently to help me win the fight. If you feel like your builds and edits are too slow, and that's the main reason you are dying in arena, then I'd highly recommend to put in Raiders practice map. The code is 7562 1598 After you have mastered your builds and edits, you need to practice your aim. Luckily I'm on controller and have pretty good aim, but if you are struggling with your aim, then click the link that has just popped up on the top right of your screen to look at my settings video. For everyone else wanting a good aim practice map, you can use Scavox Aim Trainer. The code is 8022 6842 4965. And it is a great map for tracking with all guns. This is because you can use shotguns, SMGs and ARs. After you have mastered your aim and mechanics, you should go into Raiders Peace Control map. The code is 1997 0442 4892. This map has realistic in-game scenarios which will help you gain confidence in trying to full piece your opponents in arena. When running through this map, you need to focus on grabbing all the builds around the bot and setting up smart right hand peaks. The last step in creative to help prepare yourself for arena fights is improving your fighting sense. This can be done by joining a 32 man zone wars and putting a party on public mode so you can fight other people. The code is 5295 5891 6929. This will improve your awareness in fights and will replicate an endgame as you'll be forced to fight multiple people and you'll have limited materials. This will also make you become cautious of your surroundings as you will need to protect yourself from high ground people sneaking close to your builds, and the storm. Once you can realise the other players building and editing patterns, you can start to predict them and start to piece control them and set up new angles. Once you have all of these mechanics mastered down, then you can begin playing arena. Also, if you want to support me, feel free to use code Tomblex in item shop, because it really does help me out, and I will follow everyone back on Twitter and add you guys on Fortnite. Something you should remember when transferring your creative skills into arena is to picture yourself being in creative when taking your fights. For example, in early game, you should have to be taking cheeky peeks because you don't have many materials, and you should try predicting your opponent and cut them off, sort of like a box fight. In mid game, you have more materials so it's more like a build fight, so transfer your mindset to think you are in creative and begin utilising all of the creative skills specifically from build fights that you have learned to use against your opponents. In end game, it's very similar to a zone wars, so all the skills you've learned in zone wars, use that in end game to help you be more confident when fighting in end game and get better placements. This will help you become more relaxed and comfortable in arena. One of the most important things at improving as a fighter is by fighting as many people as possible, and learning to end those fights quickly with peace control. If you're fighting well in mid game and end game, but keep dying off spawn, or if you are struggling to find a good drop spot, I would highly recommend going to fortnite.gg and making a drop map. This is what myself and my duo have done, and now that we have a great drop spot, we can always get better drops than our opponents. This allows us to clean up early game fights much quicker. Also, if you guys want a drop spot video, make sure to comment down below and click the like button so I'll make one in the future. Another tip I have for you guys is once you have mastered your fighting against opponents in early game, mid game and end game, 
slowly begin to increase the amount of fights you take. Don't just fight anyone for the sake of it. If you are low on HP or low on materials, then try to farm up or heal instead of pushing someone who is inside the storm, because then you'll most likely be eliminated because of your low health. But, if you have good materials and heals, then you can start initiating fights with other opponents and using your peace control to finish the fight. The goal of W King is to push a fight healthy, and once you leave the fight, you'll be more healthier and ready to fight the next opponent. You will then be able to move from person to person and just get more and more stacked throughout the game, and you'll be able to run through lobbies. If you can try to master ending fights quickly without taking much damage by predicting your opponents and doing smart right hand peeks, then you'll be able to fight again and again, allowing you to drop high elimination wins. Eventually, if you get used to fighting for most of the game, you will begin dropping more high kill wins more consistently, and those high kill games will just keep getting higher and higher and easier to get. Another great tip for all the loyal subscribers who have watched to the end, and something that I have been working on myself, is that when you push up to someone's box, position yourself one box away from them and pretend to break the wall to bait them to edit. Then, make sure you have your shotgun out so you can get a free tag. This will put you on the front foot with a health advantage, and they will begin expanding and running away. Then, you can chase them and try to predict their movement to full box them and eliminate them quickly. Hopefully these tips and tricks have helped you become a better WK and overall fighter. If they have, and you want to support me, then feel free to become a member. By clicking the link in the pinned comment, you can join a membership which gives you exclusive perks such as the ones that I'm showing up on the screen right now. You get access to my private YouTube and Discord server with other members and step-by-step -step improvement guides. If you become a member, you also get exclusive streams where I only play with you and many other cool perks. So, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, feel free to use code TomBucks in the item shop as that it helps me out a lot and I'll follow everyone back on Twitter who does. Also, comment below if you are enjoying this new season. I'll see you guys in the next video.